Hey, what's going on? It is Robbie Cornelius here. So you want to start an online business, but you are confused because there's so many things to choose from. So this video is designed to help you out. And so when you are starting an online business, there are many different directions you can go towards. And for a lot of people, it causes analysis paralysis. And I don't want you to have freaking analysis paralysis. Like what, what good is that doing you? It's doing you no good. By the way, if you like my new atmosphere here, make sure to let me know by liking this video. So tip number one, and this is in no particular order, and there are also more tips to this, but these five tips can help you get clear about your online journey when it comes to starting your online business, okay? And so the first step I'm going to encourage you to do is to find a need or a desire that other people have and be the one that feels that need or desire in your own unique way. And there's plenty of ways to do this, okay? So you might have a brilliant idea about starting this brand new business that you think a lot of people would be interested in. But one of the number one reasons why businesses fail is because they don't have, you know, enough customers. So I want you to have enough customers. There are literally uh, pieces of software that you can use that will allow you to have more customers to, to see if there's even a market for the idea that you have in the first place. And so I'm going to share my screen here. By the way, this is Web Asset Group. This is my online platform that teaches you how to establish, grow, and monetize your presence on the internet. As you see here, look at that beautiful purple right there. Um, you know, I'm sharing tips on like, hey, this is how I made $21,000 sharing a, a selling a $2 uh, product. Um, I have so many different ways that I can show you how to make money online. We have all of these articles here that you can check out. And then if you want to become a pro member, you can become a pro member by uh, joining our paid mastermind group. So anyway, the first place you want to go to is, you know, you want to go to a platform called Google Trends, okay? Google Trends is absolutely amazing because Google Trends is going to show you um, the stats behind any idea that you have, okay? So let's just say you are interested in starting a yoga shop that sells hot dogs so you literally type in yoga hot dog hit enter and as you see there is no one searching for a yoga hot dog i'm not saying that you know i'm not saying that you shouldn't start a yoga hot dog business but i'm saying that these stats will let you know that it's probably going to be a whole lot uh, more effort to push this idea into in front of people and to get them to see um, value in it because they're not already looking for it, you know? And so unless you have a huge financial marketing budget, it's going to be hard to put an idea in front of people that they're not looking for. Okay. So you want to use Google trends, type your idea into the search menu that's going to let you know if people have been Googling that thing. And when you find out if people have been Googling that thing, you can then determine whether or not you want to entertain that business idea. Okay. So let's just imagine you wanted to do, you know, be a yoga coach. So just go to Google, I mean, Google trends and type in yoga coach, hit enter. And as you see here, this is trending, okay? This has some static. This has some action right here. And so we can see that people are typing in yoga coach, okay? And not only that, uh, Google Trends is going to show you where in the United States the vast majority of that traffic is coming from. So you see that it's coming from New York. You see that it is coming from Florida. You see that people are searching for that in Texas. And you see that people are searching for it in California. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that sometimes when you type in a certain keyword a certain way, your search inquiry might not, you know, 
give you results back in the Google Trends analytics system. So you might have to switch up the way you worded your business idea. So don't let that discourage you. You might have to play with the wording a little bit, okay? And so if you start get some feedback, you can say, okay, now I can see that X amount of people are typing this in uh, every single month. Another place you want to check out is Google Keyword, okay? Google Trends and Google Keyword is two totally different things. But if you type that same, let's say you type that same terminology into uh, Google Keywords, it's going to show you on average how many people are searching for that per month. So right now for the key phrase yoga coach, um, 170 searches a month are being generated in the United States. So that should give you some feedback as well. And also you can look at your competition. So it tells you right here that your competition for this key phrase is low. And so what that simply means is that the people that are, you know, paying for ads related to that key phrase is pretty low. And if you wanted to start advertising, you can get in front of people that are searching for you for a really good price from anywhere from a dollar and 39 cent to four dollars and 20 cent per click. If you were advertising uh, that key phrase on on uh, Google right up here where these Google ads are. And so just try to get some feedback to see, look, run, run your business idea through some software and see if uh, your business idea has any traction. And then if you know that people are searching for it, specifically, you know, if you're going to, you know, do an online business, if they're searching for it anywhere in the United States, you can be the one that provides that product and service to them. Because again, you're building your business online. So find a need or a desire and feel that need or desire. That's my first tip. Okay. Uh, my tip number two is choose a medium of delivery. Okay. And what I mean by medium of delivery is choose the method, the vehicle that you're going to use to deliver that product or service to your ideal customer. So here's what I mean. If you're going to be an online coach, then what way are you going to deliver value? What vehicle, what technology are you going to use to deliver value to your audience the most? For me, I love video. I do some blogs. I do some eBooks as well. But for the most part, video is my primary medium of exchange. It is the primary vehicle that I use to deliver value to the people that I have decided to serve. So, you know, choose a vehicle, stick with that vehicle and be very consistent. So if you choose audio in the form of a podcast, make sure you're delivering value to your audience as much as humanly possible. All right. Tip number three is you want to make it easy for people to find you. And what do I mean when I say make it easy for people to find you? Again, if you're going to be a yoga coach, when someone types in yoga coach on Google, then you need to come up somewhere on this first page. If they're typing in yoga coach on TikTok, you need to be found easily. OK, make it to where you uh, are found easily. When someone searches for your name, you should pop up instantly. So make it easy for for you to be found. If you make it easy for yourself to be found, then what you're going to do is you're going to make it easy for people to do business with you, which is going into my next tip of uh, tip number four is to make it easy for people to do business with you. You know, when I say make it easy for people to do business with you, let me show you what I'm talking about right here. When you go to RobbieCornelius.com. First and foremost, I'm easy to find. You Google me, I show up. Step number two is I'm easy to do business with. It's easy for people to do business with me simply because as soon as you go to the website, I'm already calling out my products and services that I offer. My products and services aren't way down at the bottom of my page. My products and services are not hidden on another page. None of that. None of that crap that a lot of these people teach you. Oh, hide your buy button way down at the bottom or da, 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 da. Don't make it look like you're too money hungry. Look, I always tell people my social media is for attraction, but my website is for transaction. When you land over here on this website, 
you got to make up your mind as to whether or not you want to do some business with me. And so I make it easy for people to do business with me. If you want to join the mastermind group, you click here. If you want web design by Robbie Cornelius, you click here. If you want a marketing consultation, you click here. And if you want to find the best domain names for your online business, you click right here. I make it easy for people to do business with me. That's it. You make it easy for people to do business with you and people will do business with you. I can't tell you the amount of times I go to a person's website and it's just so tacky. On top of being tacky, people also have, you know, their buy buttons on the fifth page of their website. What's the point of that? You need to make it easy for people to do business with you because if you can make it easy for people to do business with you, you're going to make a lot more money. Okay. So that's my tip. Number four, make it easy for people to do business with you. And then my last tip, tip number five, commit to the process. So many people give up too freaking quickly. They give up, they try it for a day, they try it for a week, they try it for a month, they put in a couple of months, they might try it for a year and they give up. You're weak if you do that. You didn't believe in your vision in the first place if you do that. Find a different way. So if you don't have success the first time, try and try again, not in the same way, but in different ways. Mix and match, try different ways of delivering your product or service. Try to find different ways to communicate the value to the people that are going to be buying your products or service. But most importantly, commit to the damn process, because if you don't commit to the process, you're not going to make any progress. You're going to give up and I want you to succeed. I've been doing what I'm doing for a very long time, building my brand. Look at how consistent I am, even with my YouTube channel. Okay. I don't have a ton of followers on my YouTube channel. I have way more followers on my TikTok channel and I have way more followers on my podcast in audio form, but I'm committed to the process. This is a lifestyle, baby. This is not about going viral overnight. This is not about getting in front of a million people today. You will get to that point, but you got to commit to the process so that you can find a formula that works. And when you find a formula that works, you work it. All right. It's Robbie Cornelius with master yourself, encouraging you to master yourself and master the freaking web. And you need to check out web asset group. If you want to find some free ways that you can grow your business online to establish, grow and monetize your presence on the internet, check out webassetgroup.com. And if you really feeling nasty, become a pro member because when you're a pro member, you get to go live with us every Thursday on Zoom. Master yourself and master the web.